okay good day guys uh, today I'm going to teach you how to create a professional or a nicely look uh, CD label design just like this one that you see on the screen okay how should I start this okay first of all you go to file then you press new then you type CD label design 1 then you set the width and height to 12 times 12 cm with a 300 pixel per inch with CMYK color mode. Okay, this one is a standard resolution and this is a standard color mode for printing purpose. Okay, from here, first of all, we don't uh, touch the background here, we'll create a new layer here. Okay, then we will use the elliptical marker tool and set the fixed size to 12 times 12 cm. show you the shortcut key that I'm going to use here okay the first thing you need to do is you press control shift I shift I for tally to select the area outside the current selection okay then you will use the paint bucket tool and make sure this layer is selected and you paint it with any color that you prefer preferably a light gray something like this Okay, next we will go to view and create a new guide of 6 cm vertical and view new guide 6 cm horizontal. Okay, next we will use the elliptical marker tool again with a fixed size of 2.4 times 2.4 cm. This one will be the center circle which will be used for the label design for replication purpose. Then we will use the paint bucket tool and place it here. So you get something like this. Okay, next we will try to add some images here. Okay, let's say you are doing a seminar. So we want to take this image and paste it over there. So uh, you can use a magic wand and delete the area outside this part which is um, the white area here you press delete and make sure you double click on the background so it become a layer base and press delete then we can use the eraser and delete the balance here so we'll get this whole thing then we will use this here and we can actually just drag it while you left click on this picture and drag it over okay so uh, we'll drag it to this one so we'll try to close this so again you drag this over here just like that okay here I will show you another example here on how you can manipulate with the current image let's say this is the current image if let's say there's a lot of uh, different different color in the background here which you couldn't use the magic wand you can actually use the pen tool here then you enlarge it using control plus or control minus to string it back so you start it from here you use the pen tool here so you will just I just give you a rough idea I will do it very fast <coughs> you can do it uh, slower take your time to get the nicely selected area okay so I'm going to do this uh, uh, quite fast and so it won't be looking very nice 
you can right click on it and create and click make selection okay you just set something like 0 0.5 pixel of feather radius here something like this okay then you can just use the move tool here and just uh, same thing if you can use this like that okay here we'll try to hide this original uh, image here Okay, from here you can use this move tool and left click and drag it over here then you close here so you get something similar here so for the balance here actually you can do a bit of adjustment either you use the eraser tool to delete the white area here just like that just can use a lower opacity or a smaller um, um, eraser and just delete the white area here just like that. As you can see, it's not fully uh, erased because of the, um, the brush that we use. You can use this. You know, everything so we we'll use the softer softer uh, eraser here something like that okay for the original one it will be look uh, much neater okay so we'll try to use like, the original one here so I delete the existing one okay from so from here we press control minus to make it string it smaller again okay here we will use this shortcut key Control T while you hold on the shift button and you resize it. So you will resize according to the size that you want. Something, something like this. Double click on it. Okay, now you position this layer above here. You get something like this. Then you can use the move tool to do further adjustment. Okay, next we will add the wording here. Okay, this is seminar. Okay, we will enlarge this. Go 
here